The Champion dishwasher sanitizes dishes and rinses them with fresh water at the end of the cycle. Once the dish machine is powered on, the dishwasher will automatically begin a cycle when the hood is closed. It is very important to know that once the dish machine is powered on, you should wait about 10 minutes to run the first cycle to allow water to heat up. The wash temperature should always be at least 150 degrees Fahrenheit and the rinse temperature should be 180 degrees Fahrenheit. The pressure gauge should read between 20 to 25 PSI during the final rinse. Here you can see the dirty dish area. Dirty dishes will be placed here for the person in charge of dishwashing to ultimately run through the machine. Some cookware is too large to go through the machine and should be placed at the dirty dish area of the three compartment sink rather than here. Aluminum pans also should not go through the dishwasher in order to prevent chemical tarnishing. Once dishes are picked up from the dirty dish area, you should first rid the dishes of any excess food. To prevent caked on food as shown on this spoon, some dishes or utensils may need to be soaked in warm soapy water before being sent through the dishwasher. Once large food particles have been removed from dishware and cookware, dishes can be sorted into the correct rack. Cups and mugs are ran through the dishwasher in this rack. They should be face down and there should be only one cup or mug per slot. Bowls, flat dishes, and other dishware can be run through the dishwasher in this rack. Utensils must be run through the dishwasher twice, first spread out on this flat rack, and then should be separated by type in this blue rack with slots. Handles should be facing down to ensure a complete clean. Not all equipment has specific racks that should be used, but it is always important to make sure dishes are never overcrowded on the racks. After dishes are in the appropriate rack, they should be moved over so they are below the sprayer and on top of the sink. Any smaller debris that was not scraped into the garbage can, as well as foods that are more difficult to get off plates, such as sauces, should be sprayed. Food particles that are knocked into the sink will be sent down the garbage disposal. The incinerator garbage disposal works to grind up any small bits of food. Before turning it on, it is important to check to make sure there are no foreign objects, such as utensils or sponges, in the drain. If there happens to be something in the drain, you should use long-handled tongs to remove the object. You should absolutely never stick your hands down the garbage disposal. To use the garbage disposal, first put the rubber cover over top the garbage disposal. This is to prevent food bits from splashing out of the disposal. Then on the control panel to the lower left hand side of the sink, press the forward button. Water will begin to flow and at this point you should scrape any food bits that are in the sink into the disposal. Press the stop button and then press the green reverse button to turn the disposal on again. By using the disposal in both a forward and reverse direction, this helps ensure that all food bits will be ground up. After dishes have been thoroughly rinsed, they can be put through the dishwasher. Move the rack from over top the sink into the dishwasher. Shut the hood and wait for the 60 second cycle to finish. When the cycle has ended, it is extremely important to make sure that water is no longer flowing before opening the hood or it may spray out. Also wait a few seconds before reaching your hand in to move the dishes to the clean dish area to allow excess water to finish dripping so the hot water does not go onto your skin. Move the dish rack over to the clean dish area and then move dishes over to the drying rack to allow for more space. Throughout the day, excess water may build up near the dish machine. Because some of the water that the dish machine uses is recycled, it is important to squeegee all excess water into the sink drain. The dish machine should be cleaned every two hours and at the end of the day. First, push the power switch to the off position to drain the machine. Spray the inside of the machine with clean water. Remove the upper and lower spray arms and flush clean, then remove the scrap screens. Clean the round drain screen and flush the bottom of the tank. Once this is done and the machine is reassembled, turn the power switch to the on position. When cleaning at the end of the night, leave the hood open to help with drying. At the end of the day, the dish area should be as clean as when the day began. Make sure all areas are washed, rinsed, and sanitized, and that racks are stored in their appropriate locations.